Let us understand how to factor trinomials like ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 1. That means the leading coefficient is not 1. So we have two examples here. So first one is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Leading coefficient is 2. And the second one is 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 where the leading coefficient is 3. Now let's see how to factor them. The strategy remains the same. That is, we are trying to find two numbers P and Q whose product is now A times C. That means 2 times 3. So we are looking for two numbers whose product is 2 times 3. That is 6. So that means P times Q equals to 6 and whose sum is 7. P plus Q equals to 7. The two numbers which could satisfy are 6 and 1. So when you add 6 and 1, you do get 7. So here, you basically split 7x as 6x plus x and then do common factoring. This is how you will do it. You write the first term as it is, that is 2x squared, and then 7x as a combination of 6x plus x. So that 6x plus x, that gives you 7x plus 3. So this is equivalent expression to 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Now you can factor common factors between 2x squared and 6x. So we have 2x as a common factor here. You get x plus 3 and there is no common factor so we just assume 1 and write it in brackets x plus 3. Now x plus 3 and x plus 3 are common factors between these two terms. So we get x plus 3 as a common factor and we are left with 2x from the first term plus 1 from the second. And this is the factored form of the given expression or given trinomial. So we'll adopt the same strategy for part b. So see it carefully now. p times q that means should be 3 times minus 5, so minus 15. And their sum, p and q, should be minus 2. Now when we are trying to find minus 15 as the product, the two numbers should have different signs. The bigger one should have negative signs. So we have two different signs here. The numbers are 5 and 3. 5 times 3 is 15, right? So 5 should be negative and 3 is positive. When you add them, you get negative 2. So we'll write this expression as 3x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 5. Now, from the first two terms, we can factor out x. Get x, 3x minus 5. And the other two terms, we can put them in bracket as 1 is a common factor between them, 3x minus 5. Now, as you can see, 3x minus 5 is a common factor. So once you factor it, from the first term, you get x, and from the second, you get 1. So 3x minus 5 times x plus 1 is the factored form of trinomial 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. I hope you understand the strategy. The strategy is to find two numbers. So if we have, in general, any equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then we are looking for two numbers, p and q, whose product should be equals to product of a and c, and whose sum, that means p plus q, is equals to b. Why? If you can find two numbers which satisfy this, only then you can factor. Otherwise, you cannot factor a trinomial. Therefore, it is important to note that all trinomials cannot be factored. Only those which will satisfy this combination can be factored. Thank you.